Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the makeup look that I did for my wedding. I got a civil wed a few days ago and I thought it would be fun to show you guys the makeup look that I did. It actually lasted really long. I think about, I think it was eight hours. It lasted pretty long and it stayed really well on my face so I thought it would be a fun thing to share with you guys. I'm very excited to show you guys how I did the look because I was going for a fresh glow from within bridal look and it's actually something that anyone can do. It's a very beginner friendly type of tutorial. I mean there's a lot of steps but it's doable. Like You don't need any special skills or anything. So yeah, that's basically what we're gonna be doing today. A lot of people told me not to do my own makeup on my wedding day because I would be stressed, it wouldn't turn out really well, but you know, I still chose to do my own makeup because I wanted to feel comfortable in the look that I was wearing and in the products that I've already tested. It really turned out exactly how I wanted. I really felt great, I looked great, and I was just so much more confident because I know exactly what's on my face, I'm the one who put it on there, and I'm just happy that I'm just happy with how the look turned out. For all the brides to be out there, congratulations, and I hope you guys learn a lot from this tutorial. Let's start it off with some Mario Badescu. So this is my favorite, favorite spray, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. So I'll just give it a little shake and put it all over my face. So this one, I really like doing it before putting on my makeup because it really revitalizes my skin. It makes it look better, more moisturized, and it really feels really, really fresh. So I really like that look. So let's just let this dry on the face. And then next, we're gonna do the Body Shop All-in-One Primer. So this is their Insta Blur Primer. Now this is a primer that I'm so used to using. I use it every single day. You just need a little bit, like just a teeny bit. This is actually a lot. It looks like a clear gel. So this one I really like because it really makes the makeup stay for a long time and it also kind of lightens my pores like it doesn't make it as big as it really is. I mean it doesn't completely remove my pores but it does blur it enough so that my skin looks smoother. I'm just gonna work this into my skin concentrating on the parts where I know my pores need to be blurred so my t-zone right here around my nose and my chin. For foundation, I'm gonna be using this one. This is the Believe Beauty foundation and I am in the shade Nude. So this is the Skin Finish foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. Now this foundation is actually new to me but I ended up instantly falling in love with it and I'm so happy that I used this one on my wedding day because I was supposed to use the Fenty foundation but it just I don't know what happened. I actually already put the Fenty foundation all over my skin on my wedding day and then my skin just didn't look good. It started cracking and I couldn't understand why. So I ended up restarting. I erased my entire face and then I went in with my Believe Beauty foundation and I ended up way happier with the result. I don't know, maybe my skin was just being picky that day but this is the foundation I ended up using. I know it looks a little bit too white for me but you know that's okay you're gonna do bronzer and contour later so that's gonna become better now when you're putting foundation make sure that you don't put too much because that's one of the reasons why makeup and en ends up looking really bad is when you put too much and you actually don't need that much now if you guys can see i'm actually putting more <laughs> here on my cheeks because they need more coverage than the rest of my face but the other parts of my face, I just put like a nice thin layer and I'm using a brush to apply this. Oh, don't forget to take it down your neck. So I'm using a brush to apply this. This is the Anne Klutz brush and I just find that it's better to apply foundation first with a brush and then later I'm gonna go over it with a sponge. I really love this foundation. It's my current favorite foundation. And you know, when you're doing your own makeup for your wedding day, don't forget to take your time and make sure you blend everything out because you would want to look your best on this day. Make sure to get into all of those nooks and crannies of the face. And also don't forget to put a little bit on the lid just to even out the tone of your skin. For concealer, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and I'm in the shade Natural Rose. So I'm just going to put a bit under my eye 
Okay, not a bit. I'm gonna put a lot under my eye because my eye bags are crazy. I'm gonna put a bit on my T-zone. There you go. And on my nose. And I'll also put a bit here to kind of lift the eye. And then just blend everything out. Don't forget to conceal your blemishes or pimples. So I have a bunch here. I'm gonna set my face with this Nishido Final Powder and I am in the shade Creamy Glow. So this is actually a powder that I have used all of my life and I love it. It's one of my favorite setting powders and it's also very affordable. You can find this in any drugstore. So I'm just gonna take a brush and I'll start with my under eyes. So I just wanna set my under eyes first because they might crease. Then I'm going to set the rest of my face with this powder. Now when you're putting powder, be careful not to put too much because that's actually what causes your face to be, you know, crackly and dry looking towards the end. So just put enough powder to set it, but not too much. Now I'm gonna take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So this is also a recent favorite. Now this one I like putting on the parts of my face that I know are going to become oily because this is a stay matte powder. So I basically put this all over my T-zone. To smoothen my base, I'm gonna be taking my Real Technique sponge and just pressing everything down. This is just how I make sure that everything is just blended together. The foundation, the concealer, the powder. And this really does help, you know, melt everything down, especially the powder, so it doesn't look super powdery and it just looks like your skin. To bronze up my face, I'm going to be using this Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. This is also a recent favorite of mine and I love it. I think it works so well with this foundation, especially since the color of this foundation is not my shade. So I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones. I'm not putting it under my cheek, I'm putting it on top because I want my face to look lifted. So as you guys can see, this is actually my the under part of my cheekbones, which is where I used to put a bronzer before. But now I put it here, a bit higher, a bit on top so that it looks lifted and it still gives you that same effect. I'm also gonna put on my jawline just to soften that out and under my chin and on my other side. Now I'm gonna put this on my hairline. So I'm trying to blend the foundation to my hairline. Don't forget to add a bit on your neck. Just bring it down. I'm also going to contour my nose. Just put some here on the sides. Don't forget to connect your eyebrows to your nose. On my chin, so that my lips look more defined. And I'm also going to put on my crease. So my crease look good and defined and it all just ties in together. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using my favorite palette. This is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Now I know this is a pretty pricey palette, but I'm sure there are a lot of palettes that look like this one. It's basically a warm tone palette. It has a lot of browns, golds, <laughs> and you know, oranges and everything, but I don't really use that. I just love this palette because it lasts so long on my eyes. So that's why I picked it. So first we're gonna do this color right here. It's basically a chocolate brown. Concentrate it on the outer part and then take it to the rest of the crease. Now we're gonna go darker with this darker brown shade. So this one has less of a red tone. It's really more brown. So this one I'm putting just right here at the edge. Now with darker colors, you have to be careful. Just get a little bit and then blend that one out. So this one actually, I may have put too much, but that's okay. I'm basically just using it to lift the whole eye. Now don't worry if you kind of messed up like I did because you can fix that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the bronzer, get a little bit on my brush because this one is actually what I'm using as the, sh the blending shade. I'm gonna use that, just blend everything together and you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna fix itself. So don't worry. And there, it actually looks way better. All right, so that's just the base of it, just to 
deepen the eye. Don't worry if it's messy, we're gonna fix that later. Now we're gonna do some metallics, dark gold. I'm gonna put this on the outer edge of my eye. I'm using my finger because metallics just end up looking more pigmented. Now I'm going to be taking the shade. It's like a lighter gold shade. This is what I'm putting in the middle of my lid right there. And then I'm taking it towards my inner corner. There you go. So that's the effect that we are going for. Now I'm going to be taking that same brush that I have been using. Then I'm just going to blend the edges. Now I'm going to be taking this white shade and putting it right in the center of my lid. Because I want a nice, a little of a... A bit of a shiny effect. Now I know the eye looks kind of messy right now but don't worry we're gonna fix it we're gonna blend it out so I'm just gonna be taking my powder brush. I'm just tapping this on the outer edge of my eye just to make sure that everything is blended and there are no harsh lines. There so as you guys can see this one is this side is blended out beautifully and this one still needs help so we're gonna do this side but you know it really does make a difference when you go back in and really just fix everything that you've done so don't worry if at first it looks really really messy or you feel like you're putting too much because you can always go back in like what i'm doing now and just blend everything out don't forget to remove any fallout that may be under your eye i'm gonna do the bottom part of my eye so i'm gonna be taking the same shade and i'm going to put it as close to the eye as possible to make your eye pop it's really just here to showcase the shape of your eye. Now when it comes to the outer edge of the eye, I tend to flick it out. So that will help me later on when I do eyeliner. Now if you put too much, it's fine. You can just <laughs> remove it. It's only powder. I'm also gonna take this metallic brown and putting it in the middle of my lower lash. I know it looks like it's not really doing anything, but you know, when the light hits you, and when you start moving your face, you're gonna see it. It's like a cute little effect. For eyeliner, I like using powder eyeliner. I like taking this dark brown color on this angled brush and just doing my eyeliner. But it's up to you guys how you want to do it. For me, I'm just more comfortable using powder. I'm just gonna start with the flick. There. That's how I want the eyeliner to look like and then I'll just fill it in the rest of the eye. Now the thing about powder is it's so easy to just erase or to adjust. I'm also gonna take this white shade on my inner corner. I just want a nice bright pop of color there. My eye look is done and I did my brows off camera so I just used my Nishido Black Brown Eye Pencil. Right now I actually have eyelash extensions on so I cannot put on mascara but if you guys want to put on mascara I suggest this one. This is the one I would have used if I didn't have extensions. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I really love this one whenever I use this. It doesn't bleed or it doesn't leave weird black stuff under my eyes. So I really, really like this one and it lasts really long and it gives you long and thick lashes. For blush, I'm going to be using this palette right here. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. So this one actually has a lot of beautiful, beautiful shades, but the one I want to use is this one right here. It's like a nude pink type of look, so that's what I'm gonna go for. So I'm just gonna put this on the upper part of my cheeks. I keep forgetting that this is very pigmented, so just be careful if you have very pigmented blush. It kind of has like a peachy, mauve nudie type of look. It's not too pink, so that's why I thought this would be a great shade, especially with my skin tone. But if you want to use, you know, a pinky shade, that's really up to you. I just used this one because it looks better with the lipstick that I'm gonna use. Now I'm gonna be doing a final powder finish on my face. I'm gonna be using this Bare Minerals um, powder duo. So it has a matte powder and a glow powder. I'm going to use the matte powder first and I'm going to put it under my eyes because I really want this part of my face to be mattified. So I put it under my eyes and 
on the sides of my nose and maybe on top of my nose as well i just want my t-zone to be really really matte so if you guys notice this is the third matte powder that i am putting on my face because i really want my t-zone to not be shiny at the same time i'm also blending out everything on my face the edges of the blush and the edges of the contour now i'm gonna take this glow powder because it has a nice little shine to it and i'm gonna put it right here where i normally highlight so it gives you a beautiful natural skin glow a bit up here i'm also gonna take some of this glow powder on my shoulders I also want a beautiful glow right there. Also on my collarbones. I just want this to be nice and glowy, especially if you're wearing off shoulder. It's gonna be so nice that you have like this natural glow. So I'm basically putting it all over my body. Now it's time for the real highlight. I'm gonna be using my Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. This is my favorite, favorite highlighter. It's just the perfect color perfect highlight for my skin tone so i'm just going to be using this small brush and just placing it right here wow so actually when you put this on top of that bare minerals glowy powder it just makes it so much more shiny and so beautiful so let's add more you can never have too much and let's also put under the brow so you'll have some luminosity right there oh this looks so good this is my favorite part also add to our collarbones you know make it look even shinier oh that's beautiful i love this highlight so much i mean look at that glow that is intense it is beautiful even down here it's it's just so good for lipstick i'm gonna be using my favorite lipstick shade this is the maybelline 656 clay crush and it's this beautiful nudie mauvey shade and i just love using this i mean look at that it's almost finished i love using this every day it's just so comfortable and it has a beautiful matte finish i'm also gonna line my lips a little bit with this kylie lip liner in the shade Kylie. Now this one is something that I'm just gonna put just on the upper part of my lip. Try not to put too much of this because I don't want a super intense lip line. I just want to define the edges my the edges of my lip just just a little bit. For setting spray, I'm gonna be using my ColourPop Pretty Fresh HA setting spray. I really really love this one. It really brings out the beauty of your skin it just especially when you do a lot of matte it just gives you a subtle glow and i just i love the feeling it makes you feel really really fresh and i tend to put a lot of this <laughs> even put here my skin looks revitalized it looks really fresh and there are no random um dots of water on my face or anything so that is the first spray that i put but to make sure that everything really stays in locked in for really long time i also finish it off with the urban decay all-nighter setting spray so this one i really really love this one it works so so well and i just love it i think this is the reason why the makeup lasted really really long and i've heard a lot of people rave about this and i finally tried it and i completely understand why people love it so much so i just let the color pop pretty fresh spray dry and then i'll go in with this one now don't be afraid to use a lot of setting spray because you really want your look to last this is your wedding day so you'd want to look this good for as long as possible. So that's why I used two setting sprays just to make sure that everything is locked into place. It's just gonna be there, it's not gonna budge. And the last thing I'm gonna do is to go over my entire face with the sponge. So just to make sure that everything is pushed into the skin and also to make sure that there are no random droplets from the spray. So I'm just doing this to make sure that everything is blended. Yeah. this is it this is the final bridal makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys learned a lot and don't be afraid to do your own makeup on your wedding i mean that's what i did and i ended up loving it so much and i was so comfortable and this look lasted so long even when i got home it still looked 
this good. So I hope you guys have a really, really great day. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah.